look like a new girl, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> the dating and mating practices of Hollywood stars are well known across the industry. It seems that the celebrity hookups and breakups happen on a fairly regular basis, with their many flings garnering national attention. Many guys, once they achieve superstar status, are carried away by the swarms of female attention that are thrown their way. They can't seem to keep their hands off one another, particularly these lads. Without a doubt, there are a few males who have been associated to an abnormally large number of women. Among the many who have risen above the rest, this chosen few have earned a place on our list of the 10 most infamous celebrity womanizers. Isn't that a huge honor? Let's find out who they are in today's video. Before we begin though, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 10. Jack Nicholson Veteran actor Jack Nicholson, who has had almost 2,000 hookups, has made it into the list of the top 10 womanizers of all time. Nicholson is ranked 10th on the list of the most prolific womanizers for a lot of reasons. He was previously described as obsessed with intercourse by Kim Basinger. She also stated that she has never encountered somebody who is as crazy for sex as he is. For example, when Nicholson was asked in an interview how many children he had fathered, he reacted to the reporter with a bizarre response. There could be 9,000 for all I know. I used to live so freely. For me, there are never enough women. There were times when I would go to bed with four or five other women. However, none of them have the power to take away my freedom. I want to stay a bachelor till the rest of my days. Nicholson has also had an exceptional Hollywood career, winning two Academy Awards and being nominated another 12 times. Number 9. Hugh Hefner Hugh Hefner, the original hunter, comes in at number 9 on the list, having had hookups with his notorious Playboy bunnies for a total of between 2,000 and 5,000 times. Hefner has always believed in living a life that is bigger than life, since he founded Playboy, one of the most recognized adult magazines in the United States, which featured the stunning women dressed up as bunnies and roommates of the Playboy Mansion. Hugh Hefner, the owner of the Playboy Corporation and unquestionably the most well-known of today's lady killers, is maybe the least shocking presence on our list. Hefner has also publicly confessed to having bisexual relationships with a variety of people, not only women, which he said is unusual for him. Number 8. Julio Iglesias I am tremendously erotic, says Julio Iglesias, our eighth entry on this list. When asked how he would characterize himself after sleeping with a whopping 3,000 women, the Spanish musician Julio Iglesias also became well known for his affection for women, which is nearly as recognized as his love of romantic songs. When questioned about his sexual hunger, the Iberian Romeo said, I've been in love with the females since I was four years old truly, really in love with the ladies. The fact that his father worked in the medical field of gynecology meant that intercourse and reproduction was a constant topic of conversation at home, and Julio made the most of it. Number 7. Ron Jeremy Our seventh entry on this list, film star Ron Jeremy, has had sexual intercourse with a large number of his co-stars over the course of his long career in the adult business. Ron Jeremy has had sexploits with between 4,000 and 5,000 partners in the adult film industry. Ron has created a profession out of it, working with some of the raunchiest adult stars that men swoon over while seeing them in action. The Hedgehog has appeared in more than 2,000 adult films, and is very likely the most well-known male performer to have ever emerged from the shadows of the entertainment industry. In the history of the industry, there has only ever been one king. Jeremy, who according to many who have met him, is also a pleasant person outside of it. It's safe to say that with a penis that measures over 10 inches in length and legendary sexual endurance, he once had sex with 14 different women in 4 hours. He's one guy who can take pride in himself in front of any woman. 
Number 6. Gene Simmons Gene Simmons, the sixth member of this elite team of men, has an uncommon hunger for intercourse and an equally unique attitude behind it. He thinks that the male species creates billions of sperm. It is our responsibility to fulfill what the Old Testament states, which is spread thy seed. Simmons has spent some insane 4,600 nights in bed with various beauties, and he's also sold over 100 million albums worldwide. He's never been married, and he has had plenty of hookups with Cher and Diana Ross, among other celebrities. Number 5. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen did not exaggerate when he said that he has utilized his riches and position to achieve his aims, despite the fact that he had over 5,000 women on his list. Sheen was notably identified as one of Heidi Fleiss's most frequent customers in the Heidi Fleiss Hollywood prostitution scandal. Sheen, in addition to frequent visits to sex workers, is reported to be a heavy user of online adult content, according to his ex-wife, Denise Richards. The couple divorced after he supposedly told her she was one of the sexiest 1,000 women he had slept with, and still manages to keep making headlines. Number 4. John Mayer If you're a beautiful, brilliant, and a successful Hollywood actress, you should definitely be on your guard. Mayer will, without a doubt, entrance you, unless he's already done so. The soulful vocalist was able to establish relationships with a significant number of members of the industry elite. Jennifer Aniston, Jessica Simpson, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Mandy Moore, Minka Kelly, and Taylor Swift are just some of the lucky women. Yet we don't hear any of those ladies gushing about him in the media. In reality, it's the inverse of that. Swift's song, Dear John, gave us all the information we needed about Mayer's ways. All the girls that you've run dry have tired, lifeless eyes, cause you've burnt them out. Ouch. And Jessica Simpson told more about their relationship in her biography, Jessica Simpson, My Life in Pieces. Number three, Warren Beatty. Beatty rose to the top of this list after sleeping with more than a whopping 12,000 women including some of the most desirable women in Hollywood, such as Natalie Wood, Bridget Bardot, Jane Fonda, Joan Collins, Carly Simon, Beatty is rumored to be a part of Simon's song, You're So Vain, Faye Dunaway, Leslie Caron, Candace Bergen, Isabel Adjani, Julie Christie, Madonna, and the list goes on. Number two, Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain, who comes in at number two, is widely regarded as one of the best players in the history of the sport of basketball. He once scored 100 points in a single game. He justified his staggering sexual statistics by claiming that he had never slept with a married woman and that he was simply doing what came naturally to him. Following good-looking females, whatever they were and wherever they happened to be. Despite the fact that his total number of women may exceed 20,000, which is unthinkable in and of itself, the slam dunk superstar is unquestionably among the most prolific womanizers in history. Number 1. Fidel Castro And finally, Fidel Castro is number one on the list. When it comes to power and sex, Fidel Castro, Cuba's former president and supreme commander, has similar views. Despite the fact that he was not so well known owing to his ultra-secretive politics, sources have indicated that over 35,000 Latinas slept with him over the course of his whole life. The Marxist politician claimed to have slept with more than 35,000 women, according to a 2008 documentary by Ian Halpern, which was made possible by a former official close to him. According to reports, a special security squad would be dispatched to Havana's beaches on a daily basis in order to recruit the most beautiful ladies. For more than four decades, he slept with at least two different women every day, one for lunch and one for dinner. It was shown in the program that he sometimes ordered one for breakfast. So there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. With this, we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, 
please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Till then, peace out.